Welcome to Postcards from Texas. I'm Mike Vance. This week, we'll check out the golf at the Houston Open. But first, about 200 years ago, Galveston Island was home to the famed pirates Jean and Pierre Lafitte. The Lafitte's came to Galveston because they basically were run out of Baratari. They were um, heroes for a short time after the Battle of New Orleans, but then they fell out of favor with the public and the governor. Well, we don't know exactly when he came for the first time. Uh, the high probability is that he was in and out of the island periodically, certainly before 1817. Nominally, we give the date of about May 1817 is when he came here permanently. The island in those days was somewhat devoid of landmarks. There are a lot of reports, contemporaneous reports of people who sailed into Galveston. And the thing that we hear quite a bit is the legend of the three trees. So what it was is when approaching from the Gulf, there was on the far west end of the island, there was one large pine tree at the end of a bio and two smaller clumps of trees. And these are distanced by maybe a half or three quarters of a mile. They were not together. But approaching it from the sea, it looked like three trees. And understand Galveston was a pretty barren island at that time. So this was the vegetation that one saw. Lafitte's home and the rest of the town, which he called Campeche, were at the east end of the island. Some people call it the fort, some call it the home, some call it Maison Rouge. So it was a rather imposing structure. Uh, that was located at what we know now today as 1417 Avenue A. The legends about it being red are not really supported by a lot of documentation. Um, one of our members in Lafitte Society, Jean Epperson, has pretty much established that it was not known as Maison Rouge during the Lafitte period. That started probably uh, with the writing of a fellow named Bollert, who wrote about the uh, history of Galveston. And I think he was the first documented reference we know about it, referring to it as Maison Rouge or the, the Red House. There was an entire community of pirates. To become a pirate, if you had a ship and a crew, you could come and sign a, a, a thing of articles and say, hey, I'm with Jean Lafitte and out of Galveston. You know, I'm part of his fleet. The way it worked is that ships, some ordered directly by Lafitte and some perhaps in association with Lafitte, would attack ships in the Gulf and bring them back here or bring their goods back. You have to kind of keep in mind there was Lafitte during that time period uh, and his men provided trade goods and there weren't many stores in Texas in the 1820s. They were basically businessmen. They were basically buying low and selling high and by buying low it was free. The captured ships offered a variety of prizes. On any one of these ships you would have had personal goods probably some jewelry if they were carrying passengers, definitely uh, the payroll that was stored on board ship. That would have constituted some heavy coinage if you counted three years of prizes coming to the island, the money that was uh, coming from the Bowie brothers to purchase the slaves. He could have had an abundance of coinage or money. The goods were divided. And the feat apparently was very fair. And this document details how much the captain of the ship got, how much each man got according to his rank, and how much the feet got. So it was a business enterprise. If anyone lost a toe or finger in battle gaining this prize, they were compensated for that loss. The Lafitte's Galveston Empire lasted less than five years. Lafitte was asked to leave the island by the U.S. Army that came to visit him. And they came twice, it's my understanding, and uh, the first time he kind of ignored it and stayed another year, and then they came to really escort him off the island. So he probably did leave in a hurry. He did set fire to most of the buildings left behind. Um, that may have been a request from the Army to make sure no one came in after him. It might have been something Lafitte did, so no one got to enjoy the fruits of his labor. Up next is their treasure. 